Hey guys, Jasmine here, your spiritual life coach. I am going to do an energy reading from mid-month December through mid-month January for Leo. I am a spiritual life coach and tarot oracle reader. I'm going to be diving into any stuck, stagnant energies that may be blocking you from stepping into your purpose. Uh, looking at any blessings you should be open to receiving, any transits you want to be, you know, ready to hop on so you won't miss that mark. So, um, let's hop in, why don't we? Okay, let's hop in and see. I'm also going to do just a general um, Celtic spread, okay? for It's a very general reading. My information is in the description box. Please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Galactic, Galactic Star Goddess. I changed the name again. Alrighty, so Spirit, let me get some information for uh, Leo. Let's, oh, okay. I'm going to do the Celtic spread. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. What is going to be the main energy for uh, Leo? What's going to be the main energy for Leo Spirit? Coming into the spiritual ascension here, the spiritual evolution that's going to be happening genetically and molecularly uh, on a molecule DNA level, an uh, alchemist level here. What's going on with Leo? From mid month December to mid month January. Let's see. What's the, the baseline energy? Okay, so this is so cute because Leo, it has a cat here. It has a feline, okay? So it's saying to go explore, to be courageous um, here, to go out and play, you know, have fun with what you're doing. So it looks like um, from December to January, uh, it is going to be pretty fun for you. What is the crossing energy? Okay, so this to me feels like you are going to make fun out of chaos, okay? So it's like someone is going to still try to bring a good time into something. It kind of reminds me of someone's having a funeral and being that person that's going to crack the jokes at a funeral type of energy here is what I'm feeling, okay? Maybe someone said like, you know, if I die, um... If I die, make sure you, you know, you know, bring, be the life of the party energy. That's what I'm feeling here. What is the energies from the past that will be present from now until mid-month January? So it feels like you're going to have a higher, um, your third eye is going to be open, right? So from the past, you've seen some things. Some things have changed you. Some things that you felt intuitively um, some shadow aspects of your emotions have come to the surface and it gave you a better view on how to um, deal with chaos is what I feel. Uh, future, what's coming in the, the current future conclusions. Okay, so there definitely was an ending that happened, a chapter in, and it, it looks like it started and closed out quickly. It definitely looks like it started and closed out quickly. Um... This could be a vision of someone's death or something like that. You could, and this could be a, a physical death or just a, a completion of a cycle. Take it how it resonates. But I do see that something ended here, um, and it felt it feels like you knew it, and that's probably why you could be so lighthearted because you've seen it coming. Uh, what is what are you aware of? What's on your mind? Fledging. Okay, so you are definitely hurting inside. There's some deep energy. There's some scarring here of the physical body that comes from an emotional place. You know, when you're 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 hurting like emotionally or mentally, it will start transmuting physically, and it looks like yeah, you might have some playful energy, but really, really, you are truly honoring the hurt or pain that has ended here, um, because it feels like this is happening quickly. I feel. This feels like it's happening quickly. The oath keeps popping up. Um, it's like you promised yourself or someone you'll stay strong throughout this. You'll stay strong. You'll 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 just be like the life of a party. You'll be cool about it. What is the underlying energy? Even though you're hurting, you're still looking to take risks. Okay. 
I do feel like someone here, um, the number four is insignificant here, number eight. Um, but I feel like for me, this feels like someone's open to taking risks, even though they're hurting. So you have those people who are hurting, but they still show up. They still have charisma. They're still making other people laugh. Those always are the people who's hurting the most. Um, and it feels like you have to really bring this energy up out of you. It's something that is is summoned up out of you in like a magical way. It's something that you are probably not even sure how you do to do that. You probably have a lot of people telling you, oh my God, how do you maneuver through such a hard time, a challenging time? Um, when something like this is going on. So let's go through and clarify um, chaos. Uh, what What is this chaos card, Spirit? What is this chaos card representing for the main theme energy uh, from now into mid-January? Okay. This feels like someone snaked you. It feels like someone snaked you. Whenever you have like a tower moment with someone sneaking around, this is like unexpected betrayal is what I feel. And I feel like someone's playing it cool. Uh, what is the playful card? Someone's playing as if they don't know, like they're dumbing it down, but they know, they know for sure. Uh, what is this playful card, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, you have two sevens here. Um, you're you're acting blind to it. Yeah, you're definitely dumbing it down. I think that you're playing. Um, it feels like someone is playing, like they don't know, uh, like what this is. Like someone snaked you, and it's like you're acting as if you're delusional. You're, it feels like someone's playing, like they don't know, playing delusional. Uh, like you know. Like, little, like you know, you have them people who be like, yeah, I know, like, I'm not going to tell you I know so I can make a better chess move because you've seen it coming anyway. It's like you felt it coming, so it's like it was expected. What is the vision card? Clarify the vision card. Aphrodite. Okay. This is a vision. Aphrodite has to do with love. So this could have to do with a very well relationship. What is the vision card? Someone snakes you and you've seen it coming. Okay. Temperance. Okay. So there's emotions coming into the surface um, due to intuition, things that you see beyond the physical eye, beyond the physical, the senses, the five senses, and you're able to temper, temper it. You're able to temper it and act regular, act cool about your emotions. It's like you're being really cool it, it does remind me of the strength card where you're being logical and having um control over your mind and essentially control over your emotions uh what is this fledging card about so someone snaked you you've seen it coming um due to intuition you felt it coming more so um and you're playing cool as if you don't know about it you're really playing it really, really cool. Um, this person is totally unaware that you know. That's what I feel. I feel like a part of you, when you're in the dark or in bed or alone by yourself, starts to feel the pain. Starts to feel the pain when you're sleeping, when you're resting. It feels like things start getting real dark. Um, this feels like... It feels like either someone unexpectedly passed away or you unexpectedly lost something, but you did see it come in. You're trying to play it cool, but here it feels like it's starting to show. You're starting to... When you're playing it cool, you try to trick yourself that you are cool, but this here shows that you're not cool and you are aware. Like, damn, I'm not as fine as I'm acting. I'm not as fine as I'm pre presenting. Um, 
and you're ready for this moment, this feeling to pass. But to be honest, it just feels like the beginning of the pain here. Um, what is, why is this happening? What's in the subconscious mind? What are you unaware of? So it feels like you need to take a risk to really feel the emotion, to move through it honestly. Um, what is this risk? Okay. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. So you have the Ace of Pentacles here. In reverse. Okay. This makes me feel like I want to take an offer. I want, I really, really want to go and free myself of this energy. I want to present myself to the world in this way, but I have to wait. It's not time. It feels like it's not time yet. This is very um, interesting energy because when it's confusing like this, this is, means someone's trying to figure out some things in their head here. Especially about... Growth. Physical growth. It's kind of like, how am I going to grow from this? But it's kind of like we're hesitant to experience the lesson of growth through this, is what I'll say. What is this past energy here? What is this um, future energy, sorry? Which is the conclusion card. Clarify the conclusion card. Okay, so there's something that definitely ended with a lover. A chapter ended. You could have decided to end it because someone um, was too... This feels like whatever it was, it was too... It hurt. It was too brutal to continue. Um, there's love here still with this ending. The Heart of Cups is... The Queen of Cups, she's intuitive, she's here and here. This is like Piscean energy here, um, like moon energy, very emotional, intuitive energy. Someone who's in touch with themselves, but um, it's coming up for Leo. So, you know, there's, there's a, a balance here of uh, fire and water energy here of a mix. Someone is playing it careful. Yes, I have emotions, but I don't know if I really want to show you them. The emotions feel covered. Uh, it feels like right before I was going to let my emotions out. This also is representing cancer. Any water energy is, is showing up here. There's emotions here. But these are hidden emotions, emotions that are not wanting to be seen, emotions that are wanting to be tempered or tailored back due to something ending faster than what you wanted, but you did expect it to end that way. So now we're, we're wrapped up in our head about the hurt, about the pain, about um, how it felt. Um, this is a very rough romancing here. You have a rose wrapped around swords with thorns. So this is very painful so not are not only are you wrapped up in your thoughts this is a someone wrapped up in their thoughts but you're wrapped up in your painful thoughts here yeah and these swords look like feathers so yeah this these are definitely thoughts um you're wrapped up in in painful thoughts for sure and you're trying to really conduct the energy about how you feel. There's a lot of emotions. So when you hold your emotions back and they're wrapped up like this, someone's just extremely hurt about this for sure. Um, so my advice would be to 
to honor your emotions and move through them. A lot of times cycles end earlier than what we expect, but some people, some things are only supposed to be seasonal, not lifetime. They're a short period of time and we can try to extend this through time, space, and energy because our own physical needs, perhaps, um, and we end up having, having to learn a lesson over and over and over again. No matter how much you try to temperament your emotions to have control over your mind and play things off as if you don't notice or see it, though the hurt and pain still is developing in the subconscious mind, regardless of how much you try to block it out. And eventually, the subconscious mind spills over to the conscious mind and it makes it harder for your conscious mind to endure the experience of love or or enjoy the experience of love it, it kind of it feels a bit like torture to be quite frank it really feels a bit like torture um so i would definitely say if a season needs to complete it go ahead and complete it out because i see that there's a completion here um but we're wrapped up in, in, in our feelings about it, in our mind about, you know, is this really a completion? Is this really something I want to end? With all this emotion here, I could imagine someone would probably go ahead and pour emotions back into the situation. So be mindful of pouring energy back into something that just isn't, it isn't growing the way that you want. It's like you're trying to force it to grow the way you want, but it's, it's not conducting the right energy here. Alright. So if you are looking for a private reading, go ahead and look in the info look in the, 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 the post in the description box and you can book a private reading with me. And hope to speak to you soon. Peace.